Hey everyone, welcome to GMI Hub Online. We are back and happy new year to those who are tuning in. Uh, at the time that we are doing this, it is a happy new year. And um, we are thrilled to come back to you with uh, something a little bit new for us. We, um, as you know, we do artist showcases and um, well, we've had to do some changes uh, just because of weather and a few other things. So we decided today we are going to do an artist highlight. So that is what's special today. If you want to also um, learn more, if this is your first time checking us out, uh, GMI Hub stands for Gospel Music Industry Hub, and we are just a ministry that just wants to help um, artists like yourselves to to do what you do and do it really well and give you the resources that you need for that. If you want to know more, go to gmihub.ca uh, to learn more about us. You can also check us out uh, Check us out on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. We're there for you. So definitely check us out on, on those particular sites. Uh, you can see that we're all the, the addresses were just scrolling along the bottom there. So um, I am Cheryl Duick and I am your host of GMI Hub and I am thrilled to introduce our guest to you. Our guest is not a stranger to GMI Hub online at all. He's been a guest with us on three different occasions, uh, mostly talking about worship, um, everything from the future of praise and worship to you know, what's it like leading worship with guitar to songwriting for the church um, and how appropriate because he is a pastor as well as a music artist uh, who has recorded, uh, I found out, three albums. <laughs> and um, most recently it was a Christmas album. Well, we're going to find out a little bit more about that. But without further ado, I introduce to you Dave Severns. Dave, welcome. Thanks, Cheryl. It's so good to be here. Yeah, it's good to have you back. Um, Dave, uh, today we're going to be focusing on you as an artist. I know we've pulled information from you before, but mm -hmm. today we just want to talk about you. And Dave, I want to find out from you as the artist, let's talk at artist side of you. When did it all yeah. start? How did it all start for you? Uh, so I started writing songs, I think when I was 13. Not because I thought anyone would hear them, um, but just because I wanted to. Uh, just a great way to kind of process what I was going through as a 13 year old. I'm sure we've all been there. Um, and yeah, it's just been a journey since then. I've been writing, uh, I've gotten to record, gotten to perform, gotten to do all kinds of stuff, but found um, found a lot of joy in songwriting, found a lot of joy in um, yeah, being able to, to share songs and to create music for people and to invite people into moments and kind of, uh, yeah, the way that songs songs help people go, oh yeah, me too. Um, so yeah, been, been doing it for a while now. I won't tell you how many years ago I was 13, but it's been a while, I'll tell you that. You're just reliving your 13 year old time over I, and over again. <laughs> well, right? to give you, I have a 13 year old daughter in our house. So I, yep, I oh, am oh. reliving my teenage years in some way. <laughs> I hear you. Um, and I, I know you have a few songs and I want to give you an opportunity to, to share some mm -hmm. of these songs. Um, and what is the first song that you're going to share with us? Yeah, so the first song I'm going to play is one called Spirit Speak. Um, this one comes off of my album Longings and Liturgies, which was um, an album of songs written for the church about moments in the church calendar, um, something that we don't always follow super closely as an evangelical Protestant church, which is kind of my tradition. Um, but was this this album was part of my cumulative project at Regent College, my master's there. Uh, and this song, Spirit Speak, is one that we sing regularly at our church. I know a couple other churches sing. It's actually a song about Pentecost, um, the, the time we celebrate the spirit of God coming and living amongst people. So it's a corporate worship song. Um, yeah, it's a song about the spirit of God. So I'm going to play for you, Spirit Speak. Awesome. Let's hear it. <laughs> Give us ears to hear when you call. Give us strength to rise when we fall. Be our guide all our days. Spirit speak, move 
move our hands to reach the least of these. Break our hearts and drive us to our knees. Be our guide all our days. That we may shine as a sign of your goodness until your kingdom comes that we may share of your love and your mercy may your will be done spirit speak tear down idols in our hearts and homes breathe new life into these weary bones be our guide all our days Spirit speak, shape our habits and renew our minds. Give us dreams and heal the deaf and blind. Be our guide all our days. That we may shine as a sign of your goodness until your kingdom comes that we may share of your love and your mercy may your will be done spirit speak spirit speak as a sign of your goodness until your kingdom come that we may share of your love and your mercy may your will be done spirit speak spirit speak Wow, that was so beautiful. Spirit speak. Thank I was you. singing along. And I was going to do harmonies, but I thought, no, I better not yeah. do that. <laughs> hey, feel free to jump in. That's it's meant to sing along to. Now, I mean, Reverb, I don't know if you caught that. Our dog, you got a little jingle in the background. That was my dog jumping up and moving around on the couch. So perfect. Oh, nice. Everyone's welcome to join. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, that was great. Um, okay. I get to ask another question of yeah. you, which is, Musical influences, as you were you know, going through that songwriting stage, who were some of your musical influences? Who were some of the artists that, that you really loved listening to when you said, I just want to have my music something like theirs? Yeah, so uh, it's funny, the older I get, um, the more I discover I have more musical influences than I initially thought. Um, oh. As in some of the music that I grew up hearing from, uh, like that my parents listened to, that I didn't think about much when I was a kid. Um, right. you know, there are, there are moments that I'm like, oh yeah, I can hear that in there. But the big ones for me right now, I'll give you the right now. So jars of clay, uh, I grew up as a kid listening to Christian radio. Um, so, you know, DC talk jars of clay, audio adrenaline, uh, and then you get into the ska stuff, the supertones, the five iron frenzy. Um, yeah. but jars of clay was always a really big one for me. I love kind of their, uh, obviously their first album but but all their other stuff and i think i can still people tell me they can still hear a lot of jars of clay in my style and my writing uh which is great um obviously some of the uh, I, I remember going to worship conferences back in what feel like the early days seeing guys like tim hughes in toronto um tim hughes matt redmond delirious uh, a lot of stuff coming out of that movement and then obviously the more modern artists uh i really appreciate a lot of the stuff phil wickham's doing um I listen to a lot of stuff. I'm a worship pastor, so I end up engaging in a lot of worship music, though I don't listen to a ton of it for fun. Um, probably the artists, the artists that I have been uh, drawing from this last year, the last couple of years, maybe uh, Ben Rector, Cody Fry. I uh, love those guys as songwriters, just brilliant. 
Um, I saw a Switchfoot's 20th anniversary tour on the beautiful Letdown. Um, so they're still a big influence. Um, great Canadian indie uh, songwriters. Um, love Donovan Woods. Love Rose Cousins. Um, there's not much I won't enjoy or appreciate in music. You know, going back to again my childhood, that I've got hints of like Genesis and Supertramp sprinkled in there um obviously some of the classics like the beatles um james taylor so i try to pick a little bit from everything and i spent i spent my high school years playing trumpet playing jazz trumpet so love miles davis still um but yeah so i'm kind of trying to borrow a little bit from all over yeah quite an eclectic <laughs> um group of artists which is kind of cool so so in some ways if i were to even ask you what style of music you think you fall into or what genre of Christian gospel music, would you be yeah. able to even identify it? <laughs> oh, I, I think I would. I think I'm still kind of in the singer songwriter, like folk pop kind of realm. Um, mm -hmm. I own a six string banjo. If that tells you anything about me, uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh I, you know, I my earlier days was more kind of alt rock stuff, um, but I've gotten more kind of into the singer songwriter, um, more into the pop. And then obviously the worship world um, is, right. is what I'm passionate about and what I do is a, is a day job in some ways. But um, yeah, somewhere in there. <laughs> awesome. Tell us about your next song that you're going to share with yeah. us. So the next song uh, I am going to sing is one that... Um, one that I wrote, I think it was two years ago, but released last year. Um, and it's a, it's a bit of a lament. Uh, the Bible is full of these songs, uh, the Psalms, uh, but we don't often sing them, um, at least in, as a church. Uh, so this is a song called The God Who Never Tires. And it's a, in my mind, it's a really great song for winter. It's a really great song for the last couple of years we've been in. Um, it's a song about being tired and being at the end of ourselves. Um, and the fact that God shows up in the midst of that and cares for us in our tiredness because he's the one who doesn't tire. So this is uh, God who never tires. I am weary from the things I can't control. I am weary from the waiting and the Exhausted and worn down I'll remove my paper crown You're the God who never tired I am battered by the storms I feel inside I am broken to the point I cannot hide. Where else can I go but to you who knows me most? You're the God who never tires. When my strength is I sleep, your grace sustains my every breath. As I mourn, your spirit works as my soul rests. Working here and now, I can trust your healing power. You're the God who never Times. When my strength is there, you will lift my head for you. you. You're the God. 
God never tires. Even when we're weary and exhausted, yeah. it's like, wow, that is so true. That is so mm. true. God who never tires by Dave Severns. Um, Dave, when people want to mm -hmm. know more about your music, do they just go to your website or is there yeah. other locations? Oh, <laughs> you can go to my website, which is just my name, DaveSaverns.com. Uh, you can find me on Facebook. Uh, D Severns. Nope. Dave Severns music. I think it is. Um, Instagram. I'm on TikTok. D Severns for both of those. Same with YouTube. Um, and you can find me on all the streaming platforms. If, if that's how you get your music, Spotify, Apple music, Amazon, whatever it is, I'm probably there. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. Now I want to talk about your songwriting. Um, yeah. what, in, what motivates you when you are writing songs? Like, is there any particular thing or any practice that you do to get you going or tell us yeah about so that. i i feel like i write my best songs when i've come up with uh, the edges of the sandbox if i can say that um i sometimes i sit down with a blank piece of paper but it's pretty pretty rare usually i will sit down and it, if i have a blank piece of paper the first thing i'll ask myself is what do i want to write what what kind of confines do i want to give myself that i can play within and i can explore um so for God Who Never Tires, for instance, um, I wrote, I, I knew I wanted to write something that was Psalm-like, a little more lamenty, but that kind of put our hope in God. So that was kind of the, the idea there. Um, I didn't aim to make it exceedingly congregational, though I know a lot of the stuff I do is for the church. So that was that. Um, and that's what came out for Spirit Speak, for instance, that whole album was songs based on moments of the church calendar. So I knew need to write a song about Pentecost. Uh, I want it to be congregational. I want it to be um, something that's theologically rich and kind of presents a different side of the Holy Spirit than we often hear about in worship music. Um, and then, you know, I, I just I just released a full length Christmas album. So I was writing all kinds of stuff for that. And and same kind of thing. I would I would sit down and I would say, well, what what have I written? What what are the songs I know? Um, and then what does the album need? What kind of what kind of thing do I want to say to people? And I'd kind of get an idea. Sometimes um, if I was doing it well, I would get even a title or a hook. And then I would take it from there and just kind of uh, work away on it. Um, usually I write lyrics and music at the same time. Usually I have a guitar in my hand. Um, sometimes I am out and I have an idea and I'll you throw it into my phone or my notebook. Um, so I've got lots of song starts that I can come back to. But um, I, like to, I like to kind of, yeah, define the edges of the sandbox. I find I do my best work once I've done that. Awesome. That is awesome. Now you just mentioned about the release of your Christmas album, mm -hmm. which is the third album you've done, but the very first Christmas one. Is that yes. right? Yes. And this is the one that has the 12 songs, 12 right? songs, the longest album I've done. <laughs> yeah, by far the longest album. Wow. And have you are you going to be singing a song from that album? Or was I am. So the next song I'm going to sing is actually from the Christmas album. And I know what you're thinking. It's no longer Christmas. <laughs> um, which is very true. And the interesting thing I've discovered, you release a Christmas album and like it gets a lot of plays and a lot of attention, a little bit in November, mostly in December, and then it goes pretty quiet, which is okay. I don't expect you to listen to Christmas music all year. But um, yeah, this next song I'm going to sing is, um, it's a song called Gifts Were Sold. Um, and as I was thinking about the Christmas story, and I mean, the Christmas story is, is so well known and in some ways familiar, um, but in other ways, it's shocking. It's, it's wonderful. It's, it's all kinds of things. And I was trying to figure out what, what's a take that would be helpful, uh, that maybe would invite people into it in a new way. And as I was watching the news in one hand, and um, thinking about the Christmas story on the other hand, I was thinking about um, a moment we don't talk about much, which is after Jesus is born, 
uh, Mary and Joseph have to flee to Egypt because of the slaughter of the innocents, because of the, the terrible things that are happening in their backyard. And it got me thinking about um, Jesus as a refugee, um, as we see many people around the world um, fleeing and and just what it is to be in that place and how Mary and Joseph um, probably felt similar in many ways to what many people feel and that survival is what matters. Um, and one of the things we don't, we don't actually know a lot about, we know the wise men came and brought gifts, but we don't know what happened to those gifts. One of the theories is actually that uh, the gifts were sold so that they could flee to Egypt. Um, the gifts that we brought and just thinking about Christmas and it's, I mean, for most of us, Christmas, part of it at is getting gifts and how wonderful that is. Uh, but this idea that, that our savior, Jesus came from a family uh, that was on the run and a family that had to sell their first Christmas gifts um, just so he could survive. Um, so this is, uh, probably, yeah. 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 Say, there's probably many people who can relate to that, but yes, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So this, this one is, um, it's called gifts were sold and it's kind of a post Christmas song, but it's about the Christmas story. Awesome. They kept as quiet as they could As they slipped into the night No stars above to lead them Just the ground beneath them The future needed to survive They couldn't stay though they had tried the Terrors and the wailing the Jealous tyrant failing they left behind so many things. The gifts were sold so they could just stay safe to see another day. They traded gold and riches for a king. Watch new life begin The gifts were sold They needed passage on the road as far as they could go he paid to keep their gazes directed other places she kept this hope close to her chest they prayed for strength they prayed for rest this child was all they needed to see the world as he did they looked ahead too many things the gifts were sold so they could just stay safe to see another day they traded gold riches for a king Watch his life begin It didn't matter that they couldn't say goodbye It couldn't stop them knowing families would cry All that mattered was the coming of the dawn The gifts were sold so they could just stay safe to see another day. They traded gold and riches for a king to watch his life
as her souls. That is an amazing song, you know, and it's it's an interesting take on post Christmas. I, yeah. I, you know, because I don't think we really think about that. And what an Not interesting thought. No, it's like, what an interesting thought. Like, you know, there could have been, quote unquote, a boxing day for them too, which is right. getting everything right. back. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. But in all seriousness, you know, just thinking about the what they had to go through afterwards and just thinking about things that are happening around the world mm -hmm. today at the time of this recording where people have been fleeing for their lives and fleeing to to keep safe from from threats. Yeah. And uh, what what a relevant song. This is awesome. Guys, if you're just watching right now, we are talking with pastor and artist Dave Severns, who has shared um, all about himself. I've been trying to pull that out of him. <laughs> you know? um, and uh, graced us with three of the songs that he has written, but he's written a whole lot more. Um, and if you want to know more about Dave Severns, you can go to his website, Dave Severns. Mm -hmm. Uh, dot com that's d-a-b-s-i-v-e-r-n-s dot com did i do that right <laughs> yeah d-a-b-e-s-i-v-e-r-n-s that's it <laughs> um and if you want to listen to his music you can stream it on anywhere that you actually stream music whether it's spotify or reddit or anywhere else you can find him there he also has a youtube channel and you can just call look up d severns music or Dave yep. Burns, and you can find him there as well. He just released his Christmas album called Presence. And mm -hmm. although we are outside of Christmas, I know there's a number of you that still love living the Christmas uh, season, or maybe you take a break, but come July, you're ready for Christmas again. So definitely. And if you're a worship pastor, out. you need to start planning for next year already. Let's be real. Oh, that's, there you go. There you go. <laughs> I hope there not. you go. Get a there's... break. Big until after <laughs> That's right. So get through Easter and then right after Easter, start listening to Christmas music. And if you're looking for Christmas music, check out Dave Severn's music. Dave, uh, here's a question mm. for you. Yeah. Um, if there are churches that are interested in using your music for um, any special presentations or they want their bands to play, that is that uh, is all that stuff available for them? Yeah, so on my website, I have a tab called Charts, um, where I've got charts for most things. I actually need to get the whole Christmas album up there. I haven't done that yet, but uh, that'll happen in the next couple of weeks. Um, so everything's available there. Um, all of my songs are registered through CCLI. So when it comes reporting time, you, you just have to type in my name and you should be able to find it there. Um, so yeah, glad to glad to um, share these. And if there's something you're looking for that you can't find, just send me an email. You can find my contact um, on the website and I'd be glad to, to help you out. I, I write these songs to be shared. And if they're gonna be something that uh, serves you and your church, um, I'd be thrilled. Excellent, excellent. As you can hear, Dave has a heart for the church and heart for ministry. And it's not just about him, it is about building the kingdom. Dave, mm -hmm. thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely awesome having you come back again. And when we do an artist showcase, we will have you in person. If It'll be great touring. to do it in person. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> thanks again, Dave. Um, Thank you. Maybe I should have you. I know you, I know. I, I promised only three songs, but if you have another oh. one that just, uh, just to play us out, that would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to close with uh, a song called Give Us O Lord, which is based on an old uh, prayer uh, by like some saint who lived a thousand years ago. Um, very simple prayer, um, all about the glory being all all gods, but uh, just asking him to guide us as we go. So here we go. This is Give Us O Lord. Which no unworthy thought can drag downward. Give us, O oh Lord, unconquered hearts, which no trial can ever wear out. Give us, O oh Lord, a bright 
hearts which no unworthy purpose may tempt aside. Bestow upon us, O Lord our God, understanding to know you. May the 